What's going on YouTube, GS Knight here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 11.4.1 or iOS 11.4, a new exploit has been released. This video is brought to you by Wondershare and their software PDF element which allows you to easily edit, annotate and convert PDF files on your Mac. Check the program out in the link below. So if you remember, a few weeks ago Kevin Backhouse has posted this quote, video of my PLC for CVE 2018-4407, it crashes any Mac over High Sierra or iOS 11 device that is on the same Wi-Fi network. No user interaction required, which was a pretty hefty bug. Imagine having your phone connected to a Wi-Fi network on a coffee shop or on a supermarket or whatever, and you know you have it on your pocket, and it just happens to crash whenever the attacker wants it to crash. So a pretty hefty bug. So yesterday they posted finally more information about this bug. They say, "quote Apple X a new exploits now available." November November 23rd, 2018, posted by Kevin Backhouse. So he says, quote, It is now several weeks since Apple disclosed six vulnerabilities that I found in their XNU operating system kernel, which is also the kernel of the iOS. One vulnerability was in their ICMP packet handling code, and the other five were in the client-side NFS implementation. I have now published the source code for the proof-of-concept exploits on GitHub. In this blog post, I will explain how the exploit works. I will also show how a QL query helped me find a code path that would trigger the ICMP vulnerability. And he goes to talk about each individual vulnerability that he disclosed to Apple and that was patched on iOS 12 and macOS Mojave. So the ICMP packet handling in here is the actual exploit that works on the iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 11.4. The NFS exploit is pretty much for the macOS High Sierra or Sierra, so it's out of our scope for the moment. So if you go ahead and here on GitHub, you can see that it has been posted, it's ICMP error CBE 2018-4407, and it's now fully available and everybody can use the code. So if you want to browse the code and go ahead and, you know, pretty much see what it does and how it's implemented and so on, it's definitely available right now. So this is one of the exploits that's been announced for the iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 11.4, and is now finally available, and the documentation for it has been made available. And as you can see, it's been posted on GitHub 27 days ago, but it has been set as private, so it only was made available yesterday. So this is actually a very good step forward, and therefore we're yet to see what this can do and what it can be used for. But for the moment, it seems to be very powerful, even as a denial of service, because if you take a look in this video in here by Kevin Backhouse, he is able to pretty much kill all these devices right away by just running a command on another computer connected to the same network. So again, very powerful exploit. Yeah, this is pretty much it about this exploit. We're now going to move to Pound to Own, who announced, quote, save blobs on the uncovered jailbreak by running the command at the link after installing TSS Checker from Cydia. So if you want to save your iOS blobs for the iOS 12.0.1, 12.1, and whatever else is signed, you will definitely be able to do so by running this command in here. The command will be available in the link down below, but in order to use it, you're going to need to have a terminal installed on the phone, M terminal will probably do, and then of course you need to install the TSS checker from Cydia, and with this one you will be able to pretty much save your blobs right on your jailbroken device, and they will be saved somewhere in the media folder if I remember well, yes, var mobile media. So you'll be able to pick them up later from the computer. So definitely a good thing, go ahead and save your blobs right now, regardless of which method you use. You can use the web one, you can use pound owns method, or you can simply use the telegram method, but go ahead ahead and save your blobs right now, because iOS 12.0.1 may not stay signed for so long. Thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, I'm Geosnow, and till the next time, peace out!